Hello everybody and welcome back to our Fatal One post-mortem. You guys survived round 240. Um, and what did you learn? Uh, we got more, bit more uh, random text to decipher once we have the cipher for it. Yes. Which unfortunately no. is guarded by an entire room full of pudding. <laughs> pretty bad. That might be a pretty pudding. difficult room to get through, huh? <laughs> pudding tastes oh, nice, easy. but too much black pudding kills you, so... Yeah. Dragon... Dragon tastes good. Yeah, yeah. dragon easy. Grumsh is pleased. <laughs> yeah. That dragon was way too easy. It's disappointingly easy. That, it's uh, in the command, it's a pretty well, good spell. Yeah. We must... Um, I think we must admit we, we when we created this... Um, the group we kind of started to think about what's our objective he wanted to kill the dragon and that's the group we kind of designed in parentheses to to go and kill the dragon mm. we know that the half orcs aren't the best choice for you know super optimal groups but i think we had a lot of fun we yeah. we, we got some informations out of it we tried our best with the black pudding room i guess um the puddings dropped from certain spots on the ground um so you kind of triggered in some shape or form that there's more than one pudding maybe and we found um, a ceiling not, that's more than 10 feet high <laughs> yeah if not uh good luck beating this room it will take a lot of fucking effort to go through that much shit points and black puddings and damage right. I, I think if we would have had a fireball left over uh, to like mm. just clear out a bunch of those archers because they were actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Because we couldn't mm. get to them and clean them up. It would have helped a lot, but. Oh. Go with the archers and then just take it slow. Get yeah. out of I feel confident that a group that's careful can can build a party that will will defeat that room. Mm. Uh, if you don't get uh, no healing by the zombies or the the mummies. If you don't get wailed to zero by the banshee. Oh yeah, there, there, oh, there's one thing we learned as well. Uh, if you pick the healer feet, make sure you actually <laughs> pick sure some healing it. kits with the character who actually got the healing feet. <sighs> otherwise, this healing feet is kind of useless. I'm not gonna point any fingers on anyone, but well. <laughs> You're being demoted to druid. You're not a shaman anymore. Uh, yeah. No more shaman, just druid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did we learn well, anything else? We failed our quest. We was, was going to find uh, our warship, but we didn't. So. Yeah. I was just going to kill him anyways, because I kind of wouldn't be leaving. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's actually most of it because we only had really one yeah. room with more informations. Mm -hmm. um, we have this room. There, there's now this uh, alphanumerical room left we were just in. And what's what, is there another room we have? Yeah, this there, the there, was another, there was another door through the the room we were just we we're in at the end. There's a door to the south of that. Yeah, that no one's been able to get through yet. But there is more okay. to explore through there yet. Yeah, so about two or three groups, and then it's time to, I guess, uh, go and try to build a group that uh, actually is able to get out of the dungeon. Not only get some clues and objectives, but all just to move through it. That's going to be fun. Yes. Oh, also, it's weird. Like, part of the cipher is there on the floor, like the cipher tables or whatever. Uh, but it's but none of the filling out is there, so maybe you need a search check, or maybe it's actually invisible. So, might mm. want somebody who can cast the spell, see invisibility. Mm. And, and I have an idea, um, Neil, mm -hmm. for uh, for Fatal One, which is the following. I think um, some players who have actually beaten or gone into the Fatal One dungeon should be able to challenging uh, to to nominate other players to take the challenge as well so i would like to challenge the frozen uh frontier group to get into fatal one and get their asses kicked or beat it so come on guys show us some 2e skills in a 5e dungeon i'd like to see that because they talk a lot of shit about how they're going to kick fatal one's ass 
But then when it oh. comes time to talk about characters, they're all like, wait, how does 5e work? <laughs> mm-hmm. So we'll see. Mm. We'll see. Um, well, Frozen Frontier, you've all been called out. Uh, it's yeah. all good fun, guys. So we, I love There's no show. fun here. You guys have been called the hell out. <laughs> you had better do this. Otherwise, yeah, you, you are get bringing yeah. shame upon your family. Do it, um, or we will take measures in our own hands. Here. <laughs> yeah, otherwise these people will come and do Frozen Frontier and beat it. <laughs> as orcs. Uh, as orcs. Uh, yes, no. as orcs. Or grumps. Grum. All right. It'd be very different. Uh, well, we're done here, everybody. Unless you guys have any last minute advice or knowledge gained. I have one uh, yeah? thing. Uh, fireball the uh, banshee and the mummies. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. So, so well just the lead off with that instead of trying to burst down the banshee first. So, yeah. am I hearing right that we need a party of four fireball wizards? Yeah, I completely yes. agree. Or, Someone should try it. It could work. Yeah. Four, It'll just wipe out all the oozes with infinite fireballs. It's a great idea. Like fighters, it could be great. Yeah. Middle way and it ranged. It'll it'll be great. Yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't. Didn't you play a fire wizard once or twice in your career in some games or shows that went very well? Probably. No. <laughs> they all they all blend together after a little while. It's all just one <laughs> constant stream of dying. Um. So that's it for everyone. That's it for Fatal One today. Uh, tomorrow we have shenanigans. Followed oh, cool. by Heroes Graveyard, where we will be seeing one of our Frozen Frontier players, our second Frozen Frontier player in a row, to fight on Heroes Graveyard. That'll be Nick. Oh. I don't know who the hell, well, I don't know what he's playing, but he'll be fighting for us, for you. Good luck, pressing my thumbs. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, that's it. Good night, or good morning. <laughs> <laughs>